Welcome back to The Property Gurus. Today we're looking at the addition of the skirting boards and the architraves. And if you're not familiar with the term, architrave is basically a vertical piece of wood like this one, you can see here, that goes around an opening in the room. So for this one it's a cupboard uh, cover, but uh, it could be for a door frame as well or uh, a wardrobe. So you can see here, since we last looked at it, we fitted some MDF on the inside. So the brown section is all MDF, which gives it a really nice flush finish when you open the door. And then the architrave itself has been pinned on. So this has all been cut to size perfectly and then pinned on. So you can see moving over to the built-in wardrobe here, we've got the MDF, which has been fitted slightly further out uh, here so that we can make space for the architrave on the other side. And this has then been screwed into all of the um, the wall from the inside here. These these screw holes will be filled later and then painted over so you won't see them. And then the architrave's cut to size. You have to mitre the corners. So you can see you've got a diagonal cut on all of the corners. So you have two 45 degree cuts which uh, match each other. And then these are then nailed to the walls. So you can see the tiny little nail marks all the way around the inside of this frame here. Uh, so they're all nailed and glued into position. So we have a quick look at the chop saw in action. Uh, this is fitting a piece of skirting board. So we need to measure the exact size that we're looking for and then we have to mitre the cut. So you can see that the, the saws at a 45 degree angle. So we cut all of the sizes at 45 degrees so that when they meet each other on a corner then there's a perfect fit and you don't get any gaps so you can see here he's cut it 45 degrees then take it over and he's putting it around the corner so we follow him round and have a quick look you can see that that fits perfectly and where his fingers are there you can see two 45 degree angles have met to form a lovely perfect fit so that's the same corner a bit later and what we're looking at here is further on, we've fitted all of these architraves now, so the door frame, if you like to call it that, and the skirting boards have all been done as well. So just following it around, similar thing with the skirting boards, they're all cut to size and then nailed up. We have a look at the window board. This is something you buy ready-made, so it's got the bull nose rounded edge, and then you cut to size, and we've left an overhang here about an inch, which is about right. Uh, just having a quick look around, you can see all the different angles, all the different corners for the skirting boards. This has all been pinned on. Now, one of the things that's absolutely essential for a brilliant finish to make this room look absolutely fantastic is the corking. We'll come back to that in a minute. But you can see this section here has already been corked. So that's a applying the cork all across the top and the outside edge of all of the architrave and skirting board and then finishing that to give it the, the top end professional finish. And um, we'll have a look at that in a second. Coming on to the cupboard that we built in, we had a look at this earlier, which was just a hole, then we plastered it. Now we've put the architrave round. Now we've hung these mirror doors and internally, we've utilized as much space as we can. So we've fitted a rail for hanging all your clothes. That's been set at 1.2 meters from the floor. Uh, most clothes drop 900 to a metre, so you'll have some space at the bottom here where, to put your shoes, and that's why we fitted some wooden flooring. And then we fitted three shelves here. Now we've got a 300 mil rise. You see the top shelf, we've had to cut it back because it's quite high and it's difficult to reach into. All the shelves have been fitted on top of batten, so we've screwed some batten to the wall and then got MDF cut to size and then we can just drop that in on top of the batten. And you can see here the, the two shelves and then the top shelf is diff, is invisible. It's uh, set back. So it's the same on both sides. You can see we've started to fill some of the screw holes on the right here where it's gone a bit yellow. That's filled. That will be painted over. So these cupboards have come out quite nicely. So quite a lot of storage space for the, for the space that we've built in here. And then just having a look at the rest of the door frame. And that's already in back to the piece that we fitted a bit earlier. Now jumping onto the corking of that of this piece. This is absolutely critical. So you apply a thin layer of cork from the gun as here. And then you need to press that in with your finger so that it's 
nice and smooth and goes into all of the cracks and fills all the crevices. So that's where some people may leave it. They just use the finger. Um, sometimes you have to apply a little bit more if it's, if it's needing a bit extra or it's just sunk into some of the dents in the wall or the wood. So go both ways with your finger and that gives it a, a nice good finish. And most people would leave it like that. But to give it the absolute professional edge feel, take a piece of wood or just this, this is just an offcut of MDF. And if you use that to then run across the top edge, you can see that there's quite a bit building up on the actual piece of MDF itself. So it skims off all the extra and that then gives it the absolute pristine professional finish that you'll see in any really high end property. So it takes a bit more time, it's a bit more time consuming, but it's absolutely worth putting the extra effort in because if somebody comes and has a look at this, if somebody with an eye for a build, they'll know that a professional painter has, has done this because the cork line is really minimized. It's really thin, but it's taken away the gap that was there between the wood and the wall, but it's absolutely perfect. And it's really impossible to get that with your finger. You have to have some sort of tool. You can buy tools on Amazon, but it's really not worth it. Just use a little off cut of wood. So we're just having a look here at some of more of the skirting board that's already been done like this. And you, know, you can see it's a really sharp finish, really top end. We haven't painted this wood yet, but fantastic finish. Jumping into the cupboard, as we said in previous videos, this is all about making it a feel, a top end finish. So we've put wooden floor in here and we've now put some skirting board in as well. And you can see we put a larger skirting board because there was a bigger gap because of the eaves. And we fitted some lights in here as well, so it's illuminated. So it's starting to get a real high end finish. We put some skirting board on this side of the wall as well. And then just coming out, the wooden floor, which we've now covered over, uh, is you know it is all in place all perfect and the skirting board and this the window boards are all now in so this room is really taking shape when you look back towards that cupboard now that looks like a very professional finish going over to the velux windows this has now all been painted in so we fitted it with the the kit which comes with a nice white internal trim you can see here this has now all been painted through uh, really high-end finish you can see when we when we look out of the window, it looks perfect on both sides because this comes with their kit and we painted it all in. Uh, you can see the other Velux over the other side starting to look super professional. It's got a nice trim around the outside here, which allows the water to, to run away. Make sure there's no water seeping in through these tiles on the outside. So it's all looking really high end, real nice professional finish. And then going back, just having a look at some of the fittings, we fitted a dimmer switch. To this room which uh, enables you to then dim the lights and one of the benefits of that is you don't have to put different rings in sometimes you'd want to put two or three different rings but it just costs more and you have more switches so um, we didn't want to do that and just looking at the rest of the fittings they're all polished chrome all quite nice finish gives it a high-end feel door handles switches all in the same polished chrome effect it's uh, all starting to, to take some real shape um, you see we've done it with the extractor fan all the sockets in the room are the same now these aren't expensive um, you know they cost a, f a little bit more than plastic fittings but it really elevates the room really gives starts to give it that first class feel when you look around um, and people think oh actually they've made, made the extra effort and it doesn't cost a lot of money to do this but it really does make a difference we've got a little switch here this is the little study area or dressing room area so we put a separate light switch on this so that you can switch it on and off. So if you're wanting to study in this area, you can just have that switch on. And we put a separate light switch for the cupboard. Just little touches like that really give you the high end finish and are worth doing every single time.